Okay, Mr. F here, and gonna start you off by teaching you how to start your blueprint for your font creation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Augs internet browser of choice. Um, make sure you select this one and not any other, um, just because it's the best for this school. It's uh, Internet Explorer. Looks like an E, has kind of an orbital, um, looks like an explorer in space over a planet. Okay, so just double click on this. And if it's not there, go to the Start menu, and it should be um, your Internet Explorer should be in your Start menu if it's not on your desktop, um, right here. Okay, so Start menu or click the E. Now I'm in Google. Now if you're not in Google, go ahead and type in Google at the top and hit Control Enter, and that Control Enter will do the www and the .com for you. So again, Google Control Enter, and that will take you to where you need to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off by typing what I want to search up for my uh, blueprint picture. I'm going to go ahead and do a font animal, in which I chose fish. Okay, Feel free to choose an animal or an alien or um, a mythological character or something creative that you want to do, um, maybe something from TV, um, but just a character. Um, that you can create using letters. Okay, so nothing too too detailed if you don't think you can handle it. But if you can't handle it and go beyond, feel free to make it as detailed as possible. Um, so we have uh, fish here, and I'm going to go ahead and go to images, and we've got a lot of fishes. Now make sure your safe search is on. Okay, filter explicit results. Um, let's make sure we do that. Um, so the safe search is on now. Um, and um, there's going to be goofy images on Google no matter what. Um, just make sure you focus on the images you're looking for. We don't want to have a technology violation where you're looking at inappropriate images, bringing your friends over, and making it a big deal. If you see something inappropriate, just keep it out in your peripheral. No, don't even really look at it like, uh, and uh, just uh, don't uh, attract attention to it. Just look at, um, just scroll through different images and stuff. Okay, yikes. Um, that picture is kind of creepy. Anyway, <coughs> um, so I'm in images, save search on. Now I'm going to go to search tools and I'm going to go to size. And now we're just getting a picture for um, our blueprint. Okay, so we don't need to make it super huge, you know, unless you want to, um, but we're not going to print these out, uh, the uh, picture or image part that exists on the Google because we're just going to use that as a um, reference picture, um, as a guide to help us draw out our um, blueprint. Okay, this is what we're focusing on. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through and find an image that I like. And I see one over here that I like. Um, and so I'm just going to click on that. And sometimes you'll have like a similar images. So if you don't like this image here, you can click on the link that says similar images. But that's not an option for this image. This seems to be the only one. And you'll notice that the f um, image full image size or full size image is uh, 1.2 times larger. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that just to help me out when it comes to um, looking at the picture as a whole. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and right click. The way you do that is you bring your pen over and hover over like you were doing before. Hover over the pad and then you're going to go ahead and hit the top button on your uh, graphic pen. The button is that um, kind of like black, um, looks kind of semi-rectangular, semi-rounded uh, uh, rectangular um, item on your pen. And you just hit the top button on your pen and that will do this. Okay, the top button on your pen will do this. Um, if you don't have a button because some student from the previous class uh, got hungry and chewed it off and ate it for breakfast, um, then go ahead and there's another option on your pen and touch. You'll see um, these rectangle panels. Okay, um, At the bottom left of your pad, um, that's if you're right-handed, um, you'll see an elongated um, or longer rectangle. Right above it is a shorter, um, smaller rectangle. Um, and it's right below the light. That is to right click, the shorter one. The longer one is to left click like you're on a mouse. The one above it, right below the light, is to right click. So you're just going to go ahead and hit that smaller rectangle panel right below the light. And this comes up. You're going to save picture as. And then you're going to want to save in your My Documents. Okay. When you save it in your My Documents, you just hit Save. Okay. That My Documents icon. Save picture as um, is 
right on the side here. It makes it really quick and nice and easy to save. So you just click that icon and you click save and you notice I have it right here. Okay, now just to give you a heads up, your My Documents and your T drive are the same thing. This is on the network, okay? You'll see your first letter of your um, first name. Sometimes you'll see your middle uh, first letter of your middle name and then your last name as your username, okay? Um, some people don't have the middle name initial, that's okay. Um, and it'll say on storage uh, FS, that, uh, and it'll say slash student um, T drive. And T is, you know, your drive. So it's the same thing as your My Documents. Let's take a look. And you'll notice that the T drive, okay, we're in the T drive, that the item is still there, okay? So that's good. So since we saved it on our My Documents, or, or T drive, but My Documents is the easy way to get to it, um, it's going to be at uh, other computers in the room or throughout the school. Since this is a JPEG file, you can open it. Okay, um, And it's important when we move from station to station um, so that you have it on the network. So saving on your My Documents is a must or your T drive. Um, so we're also going to want to do something else. We're going to make sure we right click, save the picture as, and we're going to go ahead and save it onto our desktop. This is going to save it onto the C drive or that computer you're working on. Okay, so I'm just going to hit save, and you'll notice if I, you know, remember when I right click, save picture as, and I saved it on my desktop. Okay, let's take a look where it saves. This is my desktop, and you'll notice the item is right there on my desktop. This allows me to save it to the last computer you're on. So let's say we went to a different station and you're like, oh man, the network didn't save it. And I've seen goofy things happen like that. Then you can go back to the computer you were at, the station before, um, go ahead and um, call up, your, you know, log in, and then this will pop up on your desktop. And then you can right click, copy. Remember, right click is the top button on your pen or the, um, the rectangle, small rectangle below the light. Stay away from the light, Caroline. Poltergeist reference. All right, so then you right click copy and then you go to your my documents and then you can go ahead and right click paste I already have it there but I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the file because I'm uh, copying and pasting the same file and then we'll have it on my documents then we'll go ahead and log off and go to that um, computer in the station that you belong to so um, that saves you the time of having to look through Google to find your image again so you always want to back up your image okay so now that I have my image and I'm just gonna go ahead and um, open a window with it and minimize it. Um, I'm going to want to go ahead and um, open up um, my uh, reference uh, numbers, letters, and punctuation. This will allow me to help me with the blueprint. So this is going to be my first resource, um, a nice picture so I don't have to remember it from memory. Um, also remember you can go ahead and find a picture. It doesn't have to be a fish, could be an alien, could be um, an alien that, that you made up. Um, but you can use a reference picture from Google to help you um, start your brain thinking about what alien you want to make. Um, you can also do a mythological character like a um, unicorn or uh, Pegasus, um, other things, um, and, and just you know be creative. Um, you can do a cartoon character um, from a, a TV show, and you can get as detailed as you wish. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and minimize the picture, and then I'm going to go to my computer. Remember, my computer is in the usually the upper left corner up here. My computer looks like a computer and then it looks like a hard drive. If it's not there, you go to start and then you can go to your my computer on your desktop. Or, I'm sorry, your start menu. Okay, so if it's not on your desktop, it's in your start menu. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click my computer and then go to computers on students. Hopefully a computer doesn't fall on a student, otherwise I get sued for the money I don't have. Then you have the V drive. V, why? Because graphic arts is a very awesome class. That's a good way to think about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And then Graphic Arts is my first folder in the V drive. So I'll just go ahead and click Graphic Arts. Um, the class is Graphic Arts 6. Um, the project is Font Creations. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the blueprint because that's the first part of what we are doing with this project. We've got our reference, which you are going to want to get open. Okay, the reference is supposed to help you. It's another tool that will help you um, jog your brain about thinking about letters, uppercase and lowercase. Um, remember, you can use different fonts too, and you can stretch them out, rotate them, flip them upside down. Okay, we'll talk about that when we get to the blueprint example. Also, you can use numbers, okay, and then punctuation. So I'm, I'm giving you um, a lot of tools to use, um, and also this is a good reminder in this reference to think of um, ways you can actually draw this in your blueprint.
okay? Your blueprint's gonna definitely help you when you're starting out um, with your drawing on paper. So once you have it on paper, you can bring it to Illustrator. All right, so we have our reference. I'm just gonna minimize. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is, remember, my computer, I'll just show you for uh, repetition, because repetition's good, because repetition's good, because rep okay, I'll stop that. Um, computer on students, V drive, graphic arts, um, and then we're gonna go to graphic arts six, find creations, um, blueprint, and then some examples. <laughs> and here we go with um, so a nice example of a dinosaur. You can do a dinosaur, you know, no worries about that. Now remember, you have your, um, your reference picture. Let's see if we can get to it. I'm just going to hit the up arrow here. And this will help me with what letters I can choose, numbers, and punctuation. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the, um, go back to the examples. Okay, and um, you'll notice that it doesn't necessarily mean um, you have to choose the letter and it has to be the correct, um, you know, way that you would write it on uh, typed paper. You'll notice the V here is upside down to create a mountain-like effect, okay? And then they connect them, so that's okay. You can connect the letters. Um, I could, I'll show you that in the Illustrator tutorial. Um, you can rotate letters, like here are parentheses. Um, don't think they labeled it here, but you'll probably be able to search for the way they labeled it. And it's nice that you have these labels here where they wrote the letter next to it. Sometimes you'll see where they write a, uh, draw a line from the letter um, and they tells you like kind of like a key to a map so that when you do take this to Illustrator, you're able to fill it in um, appropriately, okay? So that's what the blueprint's for. It's kind of like your map or, and your um, letters being labeled as your guide to help you with Illustrator. Um, so this is a pretty um, detailed and awesome um, dinosaur. Um, again, using the letters, you know, stretching them close together, that V, um, to, um, uh, you know, using different sorts of letters. And you'll notice um, when I get to the Illustrator document, the final versions of these. So here's the fish, um, like a picture I got up. Remember that, um, that example. Um, let me just go here. And we've got that fish here in the picture. Um, and you can start off by going it over it in pencil. Let's say, um, you know, you draw the, um, the fish in pencil. And some people actually take the paper to the monitor and draw it out in pencil, just the contours, if that helps you out. But just be careful not to, um, you know, knock over the monitor when you do this. Be very, very careful. Um, so some people will do the contours in pencil, right? And if you need a pencil, please grab one from the community, which is at a designated area. I have community pencils and pens. Um, and, you know, do the contours with the pencil, and then uh, that would be the uh, outlines. Um, and then go over um, the pencil with pen, but make sure you just do the letter. So, for example, um, you went over everything with pencil, so it's all traced out for you. Or, and then you go over here, and let's say you take a pen, and you want to do a V, so I just take the pen and do a V, and then I leave some space, and then I draw a line, and then I put a V here, so I know that that's a V. And then let's say um, we want to do um, an L, okay? So then, so then you can see the V and the L are separated. It might be pencil in between, but they're separated through a space, so you can see the letters. Okay, so that helps. And then I drew a line to do an L, so that lets me know kind of a map of what's going on. All right, on that piece of paper, which you will get at, um, from Mr. Fogelson, or um, I will have that white piece of paper at a designated area. Make sure that you're drawing these on a clipboard um, so that you have a hard back. Um, and uh, you can also use the monitor, but be, be very careful if you're gonna trace. Um, and um, so you can get a really good example um, of a blueprint. Here, I like how they use the S here. And feel free to stretch it out like they, you know, they did here in the parentheses. They stretched out as well. And they, you know, just because you used parentheses once, you can use it, you know, many different times. Okay, um, so don't feel like you can only use one letter, or punctuation, or number once. Um, you'll notice that they labeled one. They had many here, and they just labeled one here, one here. That's okay, just as long as you know you go into detail with the fin and you label this one. This is a larger D. Remember, you could change scale, um, larger to smaller. That's okay. No worries. Um, you can rotate um, and so forth. And you can reflect as well. That means like a mirror image of the letter.
Okay, so this is kind of the blueprint where you're going to start off. Don't forget to put your name first and last, and then also um, the class. This would be Graphic Arts or GA um, six. Okay, so with your font creation, it could be your font animal, font alien, um, font mythological character, uh, whatever floats your boat, toots your horn, um, rattles your chain, and so forth. Um, so hopefully you uh, enjoyed this blueprint and it helped you, um, this blueprint tutorial on uh, making a blueprint for your Adobe Illustrator um, art piece, which you will be making shortly. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, ask your neighbor first and then uh, ask me. Okay. Good luck and enjoy.